Can you answer these 13 questions about Social Security correctly? Ready? Let's see if you're a Social Security expert. And we're going to go into this. Uh, let's see. In most, question number one. So tell me what you did. You know, take notes, you know, to keep a, a, a tally and uh, put it what you got down in there, okay? So question number one. In most cases, if I take benefits before my full retirement age, they will be reduced for early firing. Firing? Filing. In most cases, if I take my benefit before my full retirement age, they will be reduced. All right. That's number one. Number two, if I'm receiving benefits before my full retirement age and continue to work, I'm receiving benefits before my full retirement age and continue to work, my benefits might be reduced by how much I make. All right. That's number two. And just run, run it. I'll give you the answers here at, at the end. So you got to stay through the whole video to hear the answers. Number three, if I have a spouse, he or she can receive benefits from my record, even if she has no earnings history. Again, number three, if I have a spouse, he or she can receive benefits uh, from my record, even if she or he, he or she has no earnings history. And hopefully if you've been watching this channel, you'll be able to get these pretty good. Number four, if I have a spouse and he or she passes away, I'll receive both my full benefit and my deceased spouse's full benefit. Right? Number four. If I have a spouse and he or she passes away, I will receive both my full benefit and my deceased spouse's full benefit. <clears throat> Number five, generally, if I'm the same sex marriage, there are different eligibility requirements when it comes to social security benefits. Number five, generally, if I'm in a same sex marriage, there are different eligibility requirements when it comes to social security. Again, just true or false. That's all we're doing here, true or false. Number one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six, the, mon the money that comes out of my paycheck for Social Security goes into a specific account for me and remains there earning interest until I begin to receive Social Security benefits. All right. Again, the money that I pay tax on for Social Security, that's FICA benefit, my FICA tax, goes into a specific account that's there for me and remains there earning interest until I begin to take the benefits. Again, true or false. Number seven, if I get divorced, I might be able to collect Social Security benefits based on my ex-spouse's Social Security earnings. All right, again, number, what do you know? number seven. If I get divorced, I might be able to collect Social Security benefits based on my ex-spouse's earnings. Uh, number eight, under current law, Social Security benefits could be reduced by 20% or more for everyone by 2035. Again. Under current law, Social Security benefits could be reduced by 20% or more by 2035. Think about number nine. Number nine, under current Social Security law, my full retirement age is 65 no matter when you were born. Right? Under current Social Security law, my full retirement age is 65 regardless of when I was born. Uh, what are we on, number 10? Yeah, uh, number 10. If I file for retirement benefits and have dependent children age 18 or younger, they may also qualify for Social Security benefits. All right? If I file for retirement benefits and have dependent children under the age of 18, they may also, or age 18 or younger, excuse me, age 18 or younger, they also may qualify for Social Security benefits. Number 11. If I delay taking Social Security benefits past the age of 70, I will continue to get delayed re uh, retirement credit increases each year until I until I draw. I didn't read that right. Let me say it again. This is number 11. If I delay taking Social Security benefits past the age of 70, I will continue to get delayed retirement credit increases each year I wait. All right. Number 12. Social Security retirement benefits are subject to income tax just like withdrawals from a traditional IRA account. Social Security retirement benefits are subject to income tax, just like withdrawals from a traditional IRA account. That's number 12. Number uh, 13, I must be a U.S. citizen to collect Social Security benefits. I must be, a, that's number 13, I must be a U.S. citizen to collect Social Security benefits. All right, so what did you guys pick for all these? Now, it's interesting, the, le the least one that got the, the correct, the least, the one that got incorrect most was the last two. You must be a U.S. citizen to collect Social Security retirement benefits. That answer is false. And only 23% of the people got that right. They surveyed 1,500 people. 
Number 12 is, I think this question is jacked up how they ask it. So I got this wrong because like social security retirement benefits are subject to income tax, just like withdrawals from a traditional IRA account. Social security re retirement benefits are absolutely subject to income tax, but they said that's false because they're comparing it to like a traditional IRA. And we know for a fact, at least 15% will be tax free, but that's a very bad question to ask. And only 38% of the people got that correct because it's a bad question. Social Security retirement benefits are subject to income tax, just like withdrawals from an IRA. Well, they are subject to income tax. Are they subject just like, so that's a, that's a tough one there. But I got that wrong because, yeah, of course they're subject to income tax. They're not subject to income tax, just like withdrawal from an IRA, but they're certainly subject to income tax. So that's a, that's a bad question. But anyway, uh, then we got only less than half the people got the next one right. If I delay taking Social Security benefits past the age of 70, I will continue to get delayed retirement credits. Only 48% of the people got that right because that's false. If you don't get any more delayed earnings credits after the age of 70, that's false. And only less than half got that correct. That's crazy. 53% of the people got this one correct. If I file for retirement benefits and have dependent children age 18 or younger, they also may qualify for Social Security benefits. Only 53% of the people got that right. And that's still a tough one because you can say, under the age of 18 versus 18. And I, I get that. That's, that doesn't say people are idiots when it comes to Social Security. The one before that is bad, though. If, if you think you get delayed earnings credits after the age of 70, I, man, that's just a wrong answer. Uh, only 55% of the people got this one wrong, or right, excuse me, which is under Social Security law, full retirement age is, is 65 no matter when you were born. That's false, obviously. And only 55% of the people got that right. That's crazy. 58% uh, of the people got this one right. Under current law, Social Security benefits could be reduced by 20% or more by 2035. 58% of the people got that right. Uh, only 59% of the people got this one right. If I get divorced, I might be able to collect Social Security benefits based on my ex-spouse's earnings history. Only 59% of the people got that right. And that one, of course, is true. 65% um, of the people got this correct. That means 35% of the people got it wrong. I, this one boggles the mind. The money that I pay in my taxes for Social Security goes into a specific account for, for me and remains there drawing interest. 35% of the people said that's true. Crazy. 70% uh, of the people recognize the, that this is false, that if I'm in a same-sex marriage, there are different eligibility requirements when it comes to Social Security. Um, that's 75, 70 percent of the people recognize that's false, but still 30 percent of the people thought that's true. And they're all Democrats, I'm sure. Uh, 70 percent of the people got this one correct. And the answer, of course, is false. If I have a spouse and he pat he passes, I will receive both my full benefit and my spouse's full benefit. 70 percent of the people got that correct is false. But 30 percent of the people thought it was uh, true, which is crazy. 75 percent of the people got this one right, which meant 25 percent of the people got it wrong. If I have a spouse, he can, he or she can receive benefits from my record, even if he has no individual earnings history. 75% of people got that right, because it's true, but 25% of people got it wrong. 92% of people said if I take benefits before my FRA, I'll get reduced. That's good. So 92% of people know if you take your benefit before your full retirement age, it will be reduced. That's fantastic. 84% of the people got this one right. If I'm receiving benefits before my full retirement age and continue to work, my benefits may be reduced based on how much money I make. 84% of the people got that right. So that's good. That's, uh, that's good stuff. Um, so if you got one incorrect, you got an A, 92%. If you got two incorrect, you got a B, that's an 85%. If you got three incorrect, you got a C, that's 77%. Four or more incorrect, you got a D, or worse. If you got six incorrect, you fail. You're a failure, Scanlon. You're a failure. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. So only less than 1% of the people got 100% right, 2% of the people got 2% uh, right, 7% of the people got, uh, got uh, no, excuse me, less than 1% of the people got everyone right, excuse me, 2% of people got everyone except for one right, 3%, 7% of the people only answered two incorrectly, that's a better way to put it. So only 7% of the people got a B or higher on this, isn't that crazy? 7% of the people got a B or higher. That's nuts. 20% got a C or higher. You got some serious work to do on this. All right. Love your thoughts. God bless. Put in the notes how you did. Put in the notes how you did, man.